Homicide detectives wrapped up their investigation. They were out here all morning and now the streets are back open here uh, near Roadway Inn in Oceanside. Here's the information police are releasing for now. It all happened. Arraignment begins today for 18 year old Andrew Thousand, who was charged for hit and run causing death after police say he hit a 75 year old man attempting to cross the street. Tuesday night. Tragic accident. It all happened around 520 this evening on the five southbound near the 76 East exit. Now, according to CHP, three cars were involved in this accident. One car was engulfed in flames. Now we're here on Golf Crest Drive in San Carlos, and here's what we know so far with the latest update. Investigators arrived on scene. More investigators, I should say, from the traffic unit. Uh, one car here hit two people. One of them was pinned underneath that car. We're told from police that the here at Urban Barn in Escondido were a lot of things in the store from crafting ideas to unique items, but also food gifting ideas for this Christmas season. Joining me now here is Farmer Jack. Hello. Hey there. Talk about what you have here in this interesting table here, all locally uh, from local stores here, right? Yeah, everything on this table has been locally sourced, and um, the composition of the table is also to um, businesses that also give back to the community. As you can jar the tomatoes together, it's it just it's that gift that keeps giving. That's right, and you you said it yourself. I mean, the gift of giving experience that pretty much I think sums up what Urban Barn is about. You got everything you want here, from crafts to items, unique items, and like you said yourself here, some food items as well to give for this uh, Christmas. This season. So Diane Tua is on here at Urban Bar in Escondido. We'll send it back to you guys. It's opening day here, skating by the sea here at Hotel Del Coronado. Tickets are thirty dollars, but it'll give you two hours of skating along this rink here, and of course enjoying the beautiful view of the sunsets along the beach here. And joining me right now is Connor. Hi, Connor. Hi. You've been doing this for how long? Um, about six years. You're pretty good at it, huh? Talk about being home in time for the holidays. This was an arrival that so many families have been waiting for. The USS Nimitz Carrier Group just returned home this morning from a six-month deployment. They were reunited with their loved ones. 31 brand new infinity cars all damaged, punctured and taken apart. These damages are pretty severe. They didn't break any glass, which of course would have triggered an alarm. At least $400,000 worth in damages. Where they separated the two panels on purpose. Damage after damage, all 31 cars parked along this mossy infinity dealership in Oceanside took a beating from someone who decided to vandalize a fleet of brand new cars. I was pretty blown away because this isn't uh, your typical, I'm going to key the paint or, or something, uh, uh, a light and damage. This, uh, this vandalism was intentional. And these damages aren't easy to fix. Deep cuts through the hood of the cars, slashed tires, and scratched up panels and stolen emblems, all costing at least $400,000 in damage. They've used some sort of uh, tool uh, that actually sliced through and punctured the different metal panels. Sean Hogan, vice president of Mossy Infinity, says they have surveillance video they're working on going through, but a more interesting twist is a letter of threat that the dealership received that they're now having an attorney look into. We're in some bitter labor negotiations, and unfortunately, um, they, they did make some threats that we would pay one way or the other to our attorney. Uh, we also uh, did get a uh, email uh, stating that these people are upset. Overall, Hogan says he's confident someone will come forward with information on who exactly is responsible for vandalizing these cars. And this was a uh, this is a huge act at three or four hundred thousand. This is no small. Let me key your car. Uh, this is an intentional act to destroy a lot of vehicles um, and to destroy our business. Mossy Infinity is offering a ten thousand dollar reward to anyone with information leading to an arrest. In Oceanside, Diane Tu is on Fox 5 News. The woman who lives here on Portobello Drive says UPS dropped off a package at her front door and literally within three minutes, a woman drove up and snatched that package from her front door and it was all caught on camera. No dog no! or security camera seemed to scare off this Christmas Grinch from stealing a package from someone's front door. It all happened Saturday afternoon when Karen Maroney was expecting a delivery from UPS. She heard the doorbell ring and got the notification from her home surveillance app when UPS arrived, but was in the shower at the time. When Karen got out of the shower, the package was gone. I just couldn't believe it. I'm home. I'm running to the door. And I mean, what, what can you do nowadays? Somebody's doing something that quick. I mean, they're that desperate. I just figured they must be, uh, don't have a job, can't buy their own Christmas gifts, so they're stealing everybody else's. Karen looked through her home security video and found this woman 
seen here coming out of a black Audi just minutes from when UPS drove away. And sure enough, she walks up to the door, grabs the box, and zooms away. I saw it was a, a man and the, the blonde lady who got out. I saw them in the car. It was a, it was a black um, Audi 6 car, black wheels. I'll never see my package but it's going to catch up with them. People are going to be a look if they're in this neighborhood around. As for the message she has to the thieves who stole her Christmas presents right from her front door. You know, what goes around comes around, and um, I'm sure to catch up with you, you're going to get caught. In that package was about $200 worth of rock and roll memorabilia that she bought as Christmas gifts. She says she posted that video on the Nextdoor app, hoping that someone would recognize who that person was. In Tierra Santa, Diane Tuazon, Fox 5 News.